Good morning, Stampers and Crafters. Welcome to Team Stamp It and our blog hop. Um, this uh, month's theme is Thanksgiving, and I decided I was going to just do this little video showing you a fun technique that they actually called felted background. And it's the use of uh, napkins. We are literally just going to use napkins that you get. I picked these up um, to decorate my Thanksgiving table at the dollar store. So you can get all kinds of designs. And these are just regular paper napkins. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to make two cards with just this one napkin. Now there are at least three different ways to do this technique. I'm going to show you two simple ones. Uh, the first one I saw had to do with using an iron and uh, you had to use uh, saran wrap and, and that sort of thing. Well, that just seemed like too much work to me, so I wasn't going to do it. So I'm going to show you two other ways to do it, and it's faster and neater, so we're going to do that. So we're going to create these two cards right here. And what's really neat, if you, you can't tell on video, but the feel of it, it, it feels like cloth or, you know, I guess like they said, feels like felt. And we're going to incorporate some stamping into it. And I'm going to show you the first way. We're going to do this little turkey right here. We're going to use this guy right here. And I will show you how to do that. So let's just jump in. Now I've already cut to save time. I've got a very vanilla card base, A2 card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half and scored so we have our card base and then I picked a color I mean look it, it's almost right like this was made for our stuff this is early espresso and I have cut that about an eighth inch smaller than our card base and then I have our piece that we're working with that is also one eighth smaller so we're just gonna have I'll have all the measurements and everything on the blog post but we're just going to have a really thin um, border piece. So let's get started. For this one, I'm going to open my napkin. And if you're really OCD, you could iron your napkin, but it's really not necessary. So what I want to do is I'm going to lay my piece on here to see how big I need to be. So it looks like I only need to be within the folds anyway. So let's just trim out our piece. And I'm going to go from this side because on our second card we're going to be using this border. And this border right here has a little bit of writing on it. So we're not wanting to use that one anyway. So let me uh, just take our snips. Trim out our turkey. We want it bigger than the piece of paper that we are using. And to get started here, I'm gonna put a little piece of little piece of tape on my uh, protective sheet here. It's sliding around and it kind of drives me crazy. So there we go. So let's finish where we were. Squirrel. Yeah, squirreled away. So we're gonna trim out our piece here. side because we're going to use another piece of that. Let's see about how big we are here. So it looks like we can trim right along the bottom there. I'm going to come a little more into it because we're going to be trimming it off once we put it on. Now the first way to do this is to use 
simply a glue stick. So I'm going to bring in my little silicone mat here. And we'll use that. Now on your napkin, some of these napkins, you see the white background? Some of them have two or three layers on them. So you want to get those little layers off. And it's a little hard getting this corner started here. And I didn't find an easy way to do this. Almost. Almost got it. Maybe if we trim the corner, maybe it'll... There we go. So trim an edge off of it. And you'll see this little thin... See the backing here? Now some napkins are going to have two of those. This one, you can tell, only has one. So gently peel those apart. And you want to remove this backing because if you don't then the top side, your image piece, is not actually going to be glued to your cardstock and it takes the chance of coming off. So just make sure you remove this. Okay, it looks like I have a tiny little tear there, but I think we're going to be okay because we're using very vanilla. We can always add bling, you know. So what I want to do so I'm going to take my glue stick, and you want to make sure you get the whole, this is just a regular Scott's glue stick. You can use whatever glue stick you have. Um, I don't think Stampin' Up! has glue sticks anymore, but you can't really use liquid because the liquid will soak through your napkin. So just make sure you're covered thoroughly here. Make sure you get your edges really well. And you can kind of see with a glue stick, you can see your dry spots and your wet spots. So I just want to make sure I have my edges and corners really well. Okay. Now we're going to lift that off there. I don't want to get that on my project. And now you're going to take your napkin and simply lay it over your glue. So see where I said if you iron this it might be a little bit easier. But I just want to make sure, you know what, let's do it this way. Let's lay our napkin down face, so your image side down. Now I didn't do this last time when I made these, but I bet this is simpler. And now we're just going to lay our cardstock over the top of it. Yeah, that works much easier. So that'll be the way to do it. Because you can lay flat. And then just make sure it's secured down all around your edges. And look at that. You could do this with any napkins. Any What if you had a flower design? You could do some really neat background work there. So now we're just going to take our snips and trim it off. And it does seem to be easier from the back side because you can see your card stock. I did try this where I folded it over the edges. I would say I didn't prefer that because it takes... It, it's more chance of your napkin wrinkling. So I found as long as your adhesive goes all the way to the edges, it's just as easy just to trim this off. This one's got a little fold, so it's kind of hard to see my cardstock there.
trying to get all my little tiny pieces I missed there. And look at that, you already have it. So let's make it secured down. I got a little tiny piece right here that. Now that tiny little hole, I don't know if you can see it, showed a little bit, but it um, actually isn't bad. So I'm just going to make sure that's secured down well. And now I'm going to bring in our Stamparatus. And we are going to use, where is the greeting? Let's use the Day of Thanks. And I love the script on this. This is in the holiday catalog. So we'll use that greeting. Line it up on here. And I'm just going to use Early Espresso. Let's tip that down. Now when I stamp, I usually let my stamp sit there a second. That gives your ink a chance to transfer to your cardstock. And since that's got a little bit it absorbed, I'm going to do it a second time, which if you follow me at all, you know I normally stamp my images twice, if not more, to make sure I have really crisp images. Look how perfect that is. And I forgot to bring a little cleaner over. I bought the new chamois and you know what? I don't know where I put it. I was so excited. Everybody's been recommending it and how to use it. Yep, I don't know where I put it. Obviously somewhere safe. So let's move this aside. Let's bring in our, this is our card base. Now, normally, I like to stamp the inside of my card before I attach my front pieces. Reason being, if I mess it up, I haven't ruined a whole card. So I'm going to use the exact same stamp set, and it has this really nice greeting. You fill my heart with gratitude this day and always. And just for a little bit of accent, because we have a turkey, Let's add a leak, uh, feather. So let's put these in here. I'm going to have to move the other direction here, I see. Because my greeting needs to go on that side. Let's add our greeting. Let's put it about right there. And I'm going to do this in the early espresso also. Yep, and I want it one more time to make it nice and crisp and sharp. Poific. Did we say poific? We did. And then we're just going to add, I want to add this feather. Just for a little something something to carry the turkey to the inside. And I'm going to use that in the same early espresso.
that one actually stamped right the first time, so I don't need to stamp that a second time. Set this aside and let's assemble our card. So I'll take, and you can do any number of things. You could add ribbon, you can do whatever you need to do to this, but myself, I wanted to not lose the technique itself. This felty, wait until you do this, it's so neat, it feels so neat. So I just didn't want to cover it up. And you can use your favorite adhesive here, whether it's snail or glue. Let's put it on our mat. Square it up. And now we'll just add this to our card base. Look how quick and simple that card was. How quick and simple. And you could add your embellishments if you want to, but I'm going to leave it just plain and simple. I like it just like that. So now I'm going to show you a, another way to attach your napkins. Like I said, there's a third way where uh, I know you can find it on YouTube, but it has to do with taking your cardstock and laying a uh, saran wrap over it, then laying your napkin, laying a cover sheet, and then ironing it. And the saran wrap apparently melts and adheres it to your card. To me, that seemed like a lot of work. I did try it, and I'll own it. I, I didn't do it right. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to find the easier ways, and then, of course, I'm going to show you the easy way. Now, your other way you can attach these is with your two-sided adhesive sheets. Cut them to size, trim them down, peel it off, lay your napkin. But you know what? I'm going to do this with a partial. So we're going to try it with a partial. And I think what I want is I'm going to do a landscape. And I'm going to use off this very same napkin... Let's see, what do we, I think I want to use this strip of pumpkin right here, okay? So I'm going to figure out about, I want this one main pumpkin kind of in the middle. Now I can feel my cardstock underneath here, okay? But I'm going to cut it larger. Larger than we need. except right on this line. I want to keep this brown piece. You don't need to. You can actually do this by attaching these pumpkins to a piece of early espresso cardstock. But I'm going to try a trick here. I'm going to trim my line. You know, I'm usually not nervous about cutting, but when you're trying to cut a freehand straight line, you, you can't put this in your trimmer. It's It'll just tear. The napkins are too flimsy. Maybe if you had a really nice, you know, high-end napkin or something. So now we need to peel off our backing. See if I can get this corner... Yeah, if you kind of fold it and crumple it, crump, crumple it a little. See if I can be a little careful or about not tearing my... Oh, and this one's really sticking.
It was an old napkin, plus it's a dollar store napkin, so you know, it's a little bit... Oh, I tore it. Hopefully it's longer than where I tore it. See, you get to join me on my food pause. You know, if, if you knew, I, I edit a lot of my videos so you don't see all my food pause. But look at there, we got it. We got it. Yep. Okay, now, since I only want it to stick to a partial, let's get a ruler. And I think I only want... Let's do this at about... Let's do it at two inches. So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to bring in my trimmer, move my napkin aside, and I'll take a piece of my adhesive sheet, and I'm going to cut it to the size I need, which is, gonna, we know we want uh, two inches, so let me see if I can get you in here. Yeah, it's a little bit. Okay, so. That looks about it. So let's cut a two-inch strip. Okay, there's our two-inch strip. Yep. It's a little long, but I'm going to be able to trim off the edges. So let's peel it. Well, I'm having a really hard time peeling things here today, aren't I? So there's our adhesive right there. Okay. And now I'm going to line up the, my cardstock and just do the bottom edge. There we go. And I did it the same way as I did the napkin. I laid my cardstock down onto my heel. Okay. Now we'll trim this off. Okay, I do see, I don't know if you can see it, I got my adhesive on there, just a hair crooked. But that's okay, because you know what we're going to do? We're going to fix it. We're just going to add a little bit of glue on there. So I would say, in my opinion, the easier way is the glue stick so far. Especially if you want to do, you know, a partial stick. So we're going to peel off our, our backing on our adhesive. And I'm going to add a little bit of glue stick on that edge where I missed it with the, with the adhesive sheet. Just to make sure my edge is nice and glued. Okay. So now I want to take my napkin and I want to lay it right at the edge of my two inch strip. So this one's going to have to be right on the edge. Okay. And then smooth it down. And there we have it. Now if you have a little bit where you can feel it kind of sticky, the easiest way to fix that is just take your embossing buddy and just hit that edge and it'll get rid of the sticky from your tape or you can do the same when you're doing with glue so now we'll trim this one off
most of the tutorials when I was looking for this, this is a really old uh, technique. Um, I didn't see anybody that did partial, but you know me, I like to change it up a little bit. But just think of the possibilities with this. You're creating your own background paper. And I did see where somebody uh, stepped it up a little bit and they glittered it. So what they did is they took and they used their uh, Versamark and heat and stick powder and went over their napkin and then they added um, dazzling diamonds. So if you like glitter, there's another option. You can glitter over these napkins. See, I like the way that one turned out. I missed a little snip here. And for this one, I took the greetings from... This is from the word wishes, and it's got all the occasions on it. So we're going to do happy and thanksgiving. And I did it in gold. As soon as I find where I put them. So I die cut them out in gold. And what I do is I keep, you see these have got sticky on it. I keep one sheet of my foils and I put two sided adhesives on them so that I always have a sheet ready for die cutting like words and things like that that will automatically already have the adhesive on them. So you can do it that way. That's kind of what I do because I do a lot of words. So they've already, the backing peeled off this one when I took it out of the die. But see, it's already got the backing on it for me. And just peel it off. And let's put our Thanksgiving right about there. And we'll do our happy right there. And you could spruce this up, add some twine. So let's do that. Let's add, this is in, oh, it's not written on here, but this is in the holiday catalog. And it is called, let's see if I can find it for you. It's a double set of uh, ribbon that you can uh, get. It's this come together ribbon combo. And it comes with this beautiful, I would say it's, it's not really gold. It's kind of a shimmery crumb cake. And it also comes with this Cajun Craze thread. So we're just going to use the Cajun, Cajun Craze thread. So let's take this. Let's wrap it around a couple times. I'm gonna try to draw I'm gonna try to tie a little tiny bow which I'm sure is not gonna go well on film because you know I I struggle with little tiny bows I really do if anybody's got a really good trick to doing this that would be nice I wa I've watched tutorials and everything and Well, we got it close. I'm going to fix my little bow there. And then what I do is I shift my bow to where I want it with my string. And I want it to be a little bit farther over to the edge here. And then I arrange my string. And then I simply take, once I've got my string where I want it, I flip it over, gather it together, see where I've gathered the loose, and I just put a piece of scotch tape on it, and it tightens it up for you 
on the front of your card. That's how I do it. I'm sure there's probably an easier way or people that are better at tying bows than me. Now we're going to grab our card base and I did, since we have gold lettering, I did a gold mat. And when I do a, a mat where something's going to be covered, I actually cut out the center just to save your foil paper because that's going to be covered. You can use this part to die cut your your greeting, anything like that. So let's put this on here first. We'll just mat a little bit of gold in there and it'll pull our greeting. And now I'm going to do my inside. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to freehand it. Mark the calendar. I'm going to use the same greeting. And I'm going to try to do this without using my stamparatus. It's very rare. Let's add our greeting. Okay, and I think I want to add a couple little, in this set is gathered together, are a couple little pumpkins. So let's put those pumpkins on our block, bring in a little bit of pumpkin pie. And then we're just going to put a couple pumpkins right here in the corner. Just kind of finishes finishes off your card. There we go. Now let's add our project front. See how quick these are? These are very fast to do. I will add um, a couple more samples in the blog post. And I'll have, uh, I'll try to do a PDF of this, but you kind of don't need it. You're just gluing a napkin down. Level that up. And there you go. You have made two quick, easy, elegant cards using paper napkins. And the texture on here is just amazing. You could uh, add a little wink of Stella on there if you wanted. I'm going to have to go back and find my little eye dots in my die cut. I forgot to pull them out of there. If you, A lot of times when you die cut a word and you lose the little dot, you can always use bling. Just put a little piece of bling there for your dots. But there you go. There's two simple Thanksgiving cards using napkins you find at the dollar store. I found these with the leaf. I'll be doing something with that. You have this neat border you could use. This one I definitely want to use. Um, something with these uh, pumpkins and gourds. But there you go. This is actually called felt stamp uh, background. I just call it napkin background, but, you know, they're going to make a fancy name for it. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's projects. And please go ahead and follow the blog hop. Be sure to leave a comment with um, the hashtag stamp it contest and that way you're entered to win and enjoy the hop a lot of awesome projects don't want to miss them thank you have a wonderful day happy stamping